And hello again uh, after the uh, enlightening session from Rachel when she uh, presented the, the use cases for AI. We now would like to invite you for a, a small introduction from our colleague, Andy Breeden, who is the communities director at the ECH Alliance to uh, give you um, an opportunity to learn how you can also get involved in the activities of the ECH Alliance in the upcoming year. This morning, when I presented to you with the, during the introduction, when I presented to you with the um, European Connected Health Alliance and the Digital Health Society is doing, we already mentioned a couple of activities. We said we are a member organization. We have thematic innovation um, ecosystems. We have regional digital health ecosystem. And about this and, and even more, Andy is here to, to tell you uh, what you can get involved in. So Andy, uh, over to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I was I always have to say, whenever I listen to Rachel Dunson speak, I'm usually and very rarely silenced because I think there's such a wealth of information she, she brings, um, especially around AI. So I'm particularly pleased to be able to see and hear what she's got to say about that. If you're like me, uh, when you come to events like this, and, and certainly the, the content and, and the richness we've had over the last couple of days so far have been astounding, I'm always left with the so what question. And the so what question for me is how can I get involved? And many of you have been listening, have been posting your questions in terms of how we can do follow-ups, etc. cetera. Um, so I want to give you five uh, practical steps in the next hopefully 14 minutes about how you can get involved um, with some of the things you've seen, not just today, not just what Rachel said, but some of the projects that Caro's colleagues introduced, Natalia and Demetrius, et cetera, but also some of the other exciting um, elements that you've heard over the last couple of days. Now, remember, there's five things to get involved with. So I want to try and go through those as quickly as I can. They're all different and they're all separate. And they all mean that you can pick and choose um, if you're involved with the summit today and yesterday on where and on what level you want to get involved with. Then obviously the first one is, is, is a real no-brainer. You've seen it in the chat function so far. And that's actually to join the East Age Alliance as a member. Why do I say that? Well, that's my job. But also it'd be no, no shock to many of you that a large proportion of those people we've heard from over the last two days are either members of the ECH Alliance or indeed are members of our members. So they're, they're organizations that are members of some of our ecosystems or they're part of our partners of our projects or they're partners that are involved with the Digital Health Society, our data arm. But by joining us as a member, what that enables you, you to do is to you know, work with us, and we work with our members to do four things, and you've seen them in some of the adverts, but that's around connecting people, that's around convening our members together in ecosystems. That's about amplifying what our members do, and you've seen some of them already, you've seen from my, heard from my Cuvia, uh, obviously earlier, about some of the things that they do. But also, you've heard from our members, the European uh, Association for Electronic Pharmacists, uh, Electronic Pharmacists, they're members of the ECH Alliance and they've joined us because they want us to be able to do those things, that amplification piece and that acceleration piece. So it's a simple thing, as you, and many of you have already done this already, so I'm pleased to see that. There's a QR code down here on the bottom of the screen. Scan that or go online uh, to our website and join us. You're joined then over 1,100 now, and this is growing exponentially, 1,100 other organisations across the globe so that's number one, okay? Number two, get involved with our ecosystems. Now you've heard mention of some of our ecosystems already. We've got a network of global digital health ecosystems that have spread across the globe from Argentina all the way up through the US and Canada, all the way through Europe. We're building them in Africa now. We've got ecosystems in India. We've got ecosystems in Sri Lanka and in Australia. And, and hi to all those colleagues from all those countries as well. Over the last year, that ecosystem network's grown again because we've saw ecosystems join our network from Ukraine. We've been able to establish ecosystems in Zimbabwe and shortly to announce new ecosystems and, and welcoming ecosystems from Africa, 
from Uganda, hopefully, in South Africa, from Tanzania, from um, Senegal, and also from Zambia. What that means is that's a greater network, an implementation network, or an intelligence network for you to make those connections. If you're a company, these are landing zones for you. If you're a researcher, these are intelligence nodes for you. But also, they're great ways to make connections and find connections locally, whether that's in Malta with our ecosystem there, or inclusion of Poca in Romania, or in Yavaskala in Finland. So join those networks and get involved with their events because they're there to make those connections, to break down silos, to match need and solution, but also to, to create economic opportunity. So that's number two. Number three, you've, all, you've already heard, and Caro made mention to some of them already today, is get involved with our thematic eco innovation ecosystems. These are vertical, so they're cross-border. They're usually online as well, but a couple of exceptions I'll talk about in this section. But this year, we're focusing with a laser beam on four distinct areas. One of those is healthy aging. One of those is going to be green health, women's health, and then lastly, on digital health and data. We will be setting up and establishing a series of thematic ecosystems in those four areas. We've already started with a data piece. Cara is going to be kicking off the, the green health um, thematic ecosystem later in December. These are great calls for action because we know these are important areas for our members. We know they're important for you too. And, and many of you who are listening today have, have already got, as I say, uh, action in the game on this because many of you I know are already involved with healthy aging and the field of women's health so we, we if you're interested in any of those contact me you've got my email address at the end of these slides these are great ways to get involved these are great ways also that we can feature some of our members and the members of our ecosystem as well because they've already looked at these areas they've already got best practice they've established what the needs are in addition to those four key areas of healthy aging, women's health, green health, and health data, we're also this year carrying on with our work on continents with our patient-led uh, ecosystem with the uh, World Federation for Incontinent and Pelvic Floor Patients. We're starting off a brand new series of ecosystems on cancer because many of our members and many of our ecosystems see this as key. Next, Next week, I'm going to be in Spain for a physical coming together of our health procurement um, ecosystem, which will, which is being led by our Catalan ecosystem. So again, these are great ways, if you're interested in any of these areas, get involved with me and my colleagues, put your name in the chat function, and we'll be in touch. So that's number three. Let's go on to our, I think, some of our exciting uh, events that we've got. So number four is join our series of flagship events. Let me just rustle through some of those quickly. So in February, we're going to be in Barcelona doing the 10th year of our Digital Health and Wellness Summit. Caro and I are really excited about bringing you a whole day of activity, which is, again, we're going to focus on healthy aging, green health, digital health and data, and also women's health. So if you're involved with those, want to, want to get involved with those, get yourself registered for this and come along and get involved. If you're a member, also contact me because we have a number of member-only benefits around that event, which should get you into Mobile World Congress as well. That's number one. Number two is at the same time, we're also going to be in the US. So if you're US focused, and hello to colleagues listening from the US, come along and join my colleagues, Bledding, uh, John and Nicole at Vive this year, which is taking place at the same time in Los Angeles. Again, we've got uh, deals for our members only, uh, around gaining access to five and and, Bledin and and colleagues will be creating content there a partner program as well that's going to be around the same time at the end of february lastly i'll just give you a third one because i want to try and keep this brief we're going to be working very closely with health europe now we, we're, we've partnered with health in las vegas for a number of years now successfully ran a global visitor this year in june 2024 we're going to be partnering with health in europe so we've got, you know, a Global Health Connector event in Europe in June. You can contact my colleague, whose email address is there, alejandra at echlines.com, for more details. 
because uh, we've got discounts again for our members. So that's taking place, if you've not heard it already, between the 17th and the 20th of June. So that's number four, okay? Number five is partner with us around our projects. You've seen many of our projects today. You've heard from Natalia and Demetrius and, and, and Caro, et cetera. But I actually want to talk about something a little bit, bit broader than that, because we're involved with, with a number of, of initiatives around Horizon Europe. And people say to us, okay, Horizon Europe, what is it? I mean, for those people who aren't involved with it, this is one of the world's largest R&D programs. Okay, they've got a budget of 95 billion, not million, billion euros um, to cover us up to the end of 2027. Now, as a global health connector, we build consortium. We partner with many of our members in our ecosystems. You've heard from some of them today already with, with Natalia and Demetrius and Caro. But also, we've also got within that network, you know, over 60 ecosystems in Europe that are looking for partners outside of Europe. Because what people forget about Horizon Europe is this is open to the globe. So the European Commission are really keen to bring in excellence and innovation from outside of Europe into, uh, into, uh, in, into the Horizon programme. So that's especially true with colleagues from the US and also from Africa and other countries like India and Australia. Now, our role there is to work with our members to help them and enable them to get involved with that process because it can be a bit bureaucratic but our ability to connect and convene meaning we can bring you into those programs help you through some of the hurdles and some of the bureaucracy and get you almost like a, a guide into dealing with some of these complexities so think about working with us because obviously we've got a track record of running successful projects and caro has got an excellent team that, that build and run successful European programs but they also involve partners that are not just our members from Europe and our ecosystems from Europe but our members and partners from outside of Europe in Africa and in the US so this is an open opportunity for those who are listening in from Africa and the US to contact us and say actually we want a piece of this we want to get involved with the world's largest global health innovation program. Where do we go? Now, obviously, those projects have got a very pressing need to target European challenges, but they are open for global innovation. So you've already seen from Caro some of the projects we're already involved with. So we've got track record in this. If you're interested in any of these, contact Caro, contact me. Hopefully, I've given you five ways you can get involved. Hopefully, I've kept the time. I'm going to hand back over to my colleagues.